What's going on guys? Mike, welcome back to the channel. Now today I have a special treat for you. It is one of my all time favorite consoles, the PlayStation 2. Now guys, I picked this up at a pawn shop, pretty good price. Now what I'm gonna be doing is actually taking off these little stickers here, uh, some of the scratches and scuffs on the console. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart, put, clean it up, put it back together, show you guys how to do it. And also I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up, play a couple of games, show you guys how easy it is to clean these up, to make them look a lot nicer than this. Actually, this is actually a pretty good uh, shape. But also show you guys how to do it, put it back together, not break anything. All right guys, if you're ready, let's get going. All right guys, so here we go. First off, we're gonna go ahead and take off the uh, hard drive cover or uh, ethernet adapter here. You see, uh, there's two uh, screws right here. You could do them with a quarter or like that, that, but I just go ahead and grab a screwdriver and just loosen them up. They shouldn't be very tight, so just be very, very gentle with it. Don't wanna break these. Uh, again, like I said, just kind of loosen up a little bit. Like so. And it should just pop out just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Uh, inspecting it here, it kind of looks a little dusty, a little dirty. Uh, and as you can see, there's gonna be some good little cleaning inside here. There probably is gonna be roaches and stuff like that in there. As you can see, they'll uh, get a good view of that. So it looks pretty bad uh, inside there. So hopefully it's not too bad when we get it open here. All right guys, so let's go ahead and move on to the bottom of the console. Now you have eight screws uh, points here. You're gonna have the four on top. So you got one, two, three, four, and then four on the bottom. Now these are under uh, little pads here, so just be very, very careful on these four because you don't want to mess it up or, or uh, uh, you know, damage it in any way because then it's gonna be hard for your PS2 console to lay flat. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a um, precision screwdriver to remove the covers for all the screws here. Uh, again, like I said, you have eight, you have four on the top, four on the bottom. All right guys, so I got all the pads moved. Uh, let me show you the difference between the two here. So you can, as you can see here, zoom in. See one of them is kind of rubbery, the other one's just kind of basic plastic. Now the four rubber ones are gonna go here on the corner. So again, they're the actual feet of the console. So let's go ahead and set those aside. Um, you're not gonna need them for now. Uh, then go ahead and grab your regular screwdriver here. Uh, I'm using the same screwdriver used on my N64 video. Uh, like I said, just a ring doorbell screwdriver. Uh, it's a Phillips screwdriver. So all eight screws are gonna be Phillips head. Uh, so you just use a regular screwdriver to do it. So uh, let's go ahead and get these eight screws out. All right, so once you get all these screws, uh, you're gonna wanna just remove them. Uh, and like I normally do uh, with all my consoles that I uh, tear down and clean out is uh, make sure I set, set apart these screws to different uh, locations here. Now, um, these four here are gonna be the longer screws. I don't know if you can see that there. And see the four here. And then uh, let me get these out here to show you the differences. So you see there, this is the ones. So you got the four longer screws that go to these four points right here. Uh, and then you got the smaller screws like this one that go here in the corner there. So just remember that whenever you put it back together. Alrighty, so once you have all eight screws out, all you're gonna do is uh, flip it up here. And I've already done it, but uh, there's a uh, sticker here that actually is voids the warranty. Uh, let's see if I can kind of put it up close here for you. Uh, I've already used my precision screwdriver to kind of make a cut in it. Um, as you can see, let me zoom in here. Um, you gotta cut it right here and then it goes to this way a little bit. So like a little L shape. And so you're just gonna kind of fray it so that way it's loose. Uh, obviously this console has already been out of warranty so there's no hurting and opening it up and cutting that little warranty tag there. Uh, you should just be able to lift up and pull the uh, top half and separate it from the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that next. All right guys, if for some reason you're having trouble and it won't pull up, just don't force it out because you don't want to break anything. So go ahead and turn it over again. And again, just make sure that the uh, sticker here is cut and uh, there's nothing hanging on for dear life on this, on this sticker here. Uh, like I said, there's no 
uh, real warranty on these consoles anymore so you can go ahead and just you know cut that and there's no problems at all but also if it still doesn't come out I want to make sure you have all eight screws out so let's go ahead and flip it back over and it should just lift up like so all right guys so when you lift it up uh, you're gonna want you're gonna notice there's this little uh, band right here so just be very very careful when you lift up here there's tape on the side just lift it up and get it off the side here uh, and then you should be able to just to set the uh, top half of the machine on the side um, and then uh, I'm gonna show you how to actually remove that piece in a minute here so um, as far as the top goes it's a little dusty towards the back so I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off and then I'll go ahead and clean it out the front here looks a little dusty as well where the controller ports at and the uh, memory card slot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue taking this apart and show you what ne what the next steps are next we're gonna go to remove this little ribbon here so all you're gonna have to do here is um, there's a little plastic piece right here. I don't know if you can see it and I really can't push it in to zoom it in, but you're just gonna push up on it and it should come slide right out. Now again, be very, very careful because you don't want to uh, damage this cable here. So you see it's a power reset button and also the uh, disc eject button there. So just set it on top right there. And then now uh, you can see the cover here is a little dusty, uh, a little dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a uh, old toothbrush and kind of rub, rub it and run it through the hot water and clean it up there. Um, as you can see there, so yeah, again, it's a little dusty. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. I'm gonna move on to the bottom half of the uh, console. All right, so there's a couple of screws right here that you're gonna wanna remove, and we'll go ahead and start uh, taking these out. All right, so next step, once you get these uh, screws out, you're gonna wanna flip it over, and I'll be very, very careful because everything will just fall out. So let me go ahead and flip it over very, very gently, like so, and dust bunnies flying around everywhere, and then you're just gonna go ahead and lift up on this uh, bottom part. So it should just come right out and voila. So you can see it's a little dusty, a little dirty, but like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a um, old toothbrush and run it through some water and kind of scrub the uh, bottom and the top of the uh, case. So I'm gonna set this aside. Now, it's pretty gross. So I have already see some uh, little roach bodies looking things and everything. So. Uh, guys, be prepared. If you get uh, one of these old consoles at a good price, more than likely you're gonna have to clean it up. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna remove these four screws here for the actual uh, components here, and then we're gonna be able to remove it and take it apart. That way we can kind of look and see what else needs to be cleaned. So let's go ahead and do that next. So after you get those four screws, you're going to lift up gently and you're going to remove the uh, protective case for the uh, optional hard drive. As you can see, it's a little uh, dirty there. I don't know if you can see that here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside, throw it in with the rest of the, of the, uh, the cover and also, like I said, I'm going to run that through uh, probably with a uh, rag and some uh, um, some Clorox wipes. Alright, so you're going to want to move uh, this power supply and fan out of the way and you're just gonna very gently push up and it'll come loose. Now I'm gonna turn this over. And as you can see, it's a little bit dusty and then there's two uh, connections here. This is actually for the power supply. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, pinch that and pull it out. There you go, like so. So there you go, there's the actual big board for the power supply here. So with this here, you're gonna wanna get like a microfiber, microfiber towel or a can of compressed air and you're gonna wanna spray it. Uh, you're definitely not gonna wanna run this through water, obviously. So go ahead and set that one aside, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this uh, teardown here. All right, so uh, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, the fan here. Now it's, there's a little plastic cover in here, uh, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull this up here, and uh, just move it aside. Now this can go in the water as well, so. Now, there's a little uh, plug here for the fan, so you're gonna wanna remove that. So be very, very gentle, because these smaller connections uh, are prone to uh, coming off or breaking. So go very gently, pull up on it, and like so. So then you should just be able to pull it off. Now I'm gonna kinda get this here. See if I can get it. Zoom in on here. So see, there's a connection for the fans. But again, be very, very gentle because you don't want to break it. So, so I'm gonna run that fan through the uh, duster as well. So put that aside. 
All right, now basically all you have left is the disk drive and um, the other components. Flipping it back over. Now I'm not gonna take it any part any further uh, because I don't feel like it needs to be cleaned any more than maybe just a good uh, uh, spray with the uh, can of compressed air. Now if you want to take apart the disk drive, it's going to be these these uh, screws right here. Um, I don't foresee that being an issue, so I'm not going to take it apart. Um, but like I said, um, if you do take it apart, just be very, very careful because you don't want to damage the laser. That's another reason why I don't want to take it apart uh, because I have tested it prior to me taking it apart and it does work. So uh, the way I look at it is if it's not broken, you know, don't even try to mess with it or like that. So. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take those uh, other parts and get them uh, wiped down, washed up, uh, and then I'll be back and show you how to put everything back together. All right, so next step is gonna be putting the power supply and fan back on the board here. So as you can tell, I cleaned it up best I could. So what you're gonna wanna do is put it together like so and set it in there temporary. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you don't want to be careful with this little connection again when you're trying to reconnect it to the board because it is very very fragile uh, now the connection for the power supply itself is going to be uh, going into this little indention here on the side so uh, before you flip it over just go to make sure you set it in and then put the two wires through there like so uh, and then the next step is going to be just flipping it over again be very very careful when you flip it over and like that now Next, what you want to do is make sure again it's in this little indention here, the wires coming through, uh, and then you're going to want to, of course, connect the fan cable to the uh, port there. Now, again, uh, I don't want to stress this enough, just be very, very careful because you don't want to break that connection there. So go ahead and just kind of push it in very gently, and it should go right in. Now, once you get that done, uh, the next step is going to be actually putting the um, I guess it's a cage for the hard drive back in before you put in the motherboard. Now I did this before the first time. I actually put it in the opposite way. I put in the mother the, the board first, and then I put in the uh, cage for the uh, hard drive. But that's not the way you do it. So you do the hard drive first, then you do the uh, power supply. So again, right there where that connection goes, the four prong connection goes in there, and then the other end goes into the actual plug for the power supply. So all I'm going to do is actually set it down and I'll be very careful and just basically connect it with the uh, plug itself and then push down on it and it should uh, basically go in the four prong connection right there. Uh, you know it's set whenever it's flush and nothing's uh, you know coming up from the, from the board itself. Uh, so after you do that you're going to want to put in the screws back in. Uh, again just uh, grab your screws and your screwdriver and screw them in. So let's go ahead and uh, get that next. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and flip it back over. So be very, very gentle, make sure nothing comes undone. Uh, and then the next step is gonna be putting in the screws in the top portion of the uh, board and the whole, uh, you know, connections right here, making sure everything's uh, solid and good. And then you're gonna bring in the bottom half of the console to lay everything back in. And once you lay everything back in, uh, that's when you're gonna go ahead and uh, put your screws in. Now this little section here is gonna be a little tricky when you're trying to put it back on. Just make sure you do it and uh, you don't break anything. Uh, don't force it in either. Uh, and it should go right in back the same way when you pulled it out. So after you're done with that, you put the cover back on and it should slide right back in just like how you pulled it off there. Just go ahead and make sure everything fits right and there shouldn't be any gaps in between the case here. And then what you're going to want to do is grab your screws and go ahead and put all the screws back in. So next step is to put in the uh, pads here. Just make sure you put the four uh, rubber ones in the uh, four corners of the console so that way your console will be level. And then the other four obviously go in between those two, uh, the two in the corner and then the two in the middle. So once you get all that done, uh, your last step is gonna be putting back on the uh, ethernet adapter slash hard drive cover.
so it should just go right in and then again use your uh, you know screwdriver or whatever you have whatever tool you're using and to go ahead and tighten them just enough to where they're snug don't over tighten them all right so go ahead and flip it over double check your work now I know what you're gonna say I missed the CD drive don't worry after looking at this video I went ahead and cleaned that off as well uh, so go ahead and double check your work make sure everything's flush and sitting right there's no gaps and then what you're gonna want to do next is go ahead and hook it up to your TV and test out a game All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also smash that bell in the corner. That way you can get notified whenever I have new videos. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.